test when you choose to become a phlebotomy technician. While I am watching medical technologists drawing blood, my fascination turned into an ambition when venipuncture was done on me. I think this is good job because when I collect blood sample I can give a hand to help discovering the health problems of people and on this diagnosis. And doctor can continue treating health problems. So, I want to serve others as a phlebotomist. How much experience do you have in phlebotomy? I studied and received a phlebotomy certificate from Boston Reed College in December 2005. Since June 2016, I have become a certified phlebotomy technician in California CPT from October 2016. I have worked as a representative at a patient service center of Quest Diagnostics. Are you comfortable performing venipuncture procedures? Yes, I am comfortable performing venipuncture procedures. Since 2006, I work about five or six days per week. Depending the tests the doctor ordered, I can do venipuncture steel stick finger stick for about 50 patients every day with all ages, such as newborn, children, adults, and wheelchair patients. How would you identify a patient? Mistakes must be avoided at all times when performing phlebotomy. But it still happens that the specimens get mixed up due to improper identification of clients. This is why this particular part of the process is crucial. To correctly identify the patient, I will check critical information based on the lab request and then ask the patient to state full name, date of birth, and address, and then verify the details provided. In the hospital, I have to see the patient armband and double check the matching of patient's full name, date of birth, and medical record with the labels of the tubes. What will you do if the patient is a difficult draw? Some people don't seem to have veins where you can collect blood samples. So make sure you have a ready solution in mind. Whenever this problem comes up, which is very likely, I would find out if the patient is dehydrated or fasting as this can cause veins to collapse. If I can't find a median cubital vein, I would move on to check the cephalic, bacillic, hand veins. After two unsuccessful attempts, I will then inform a supervisor or the patient's doctor. I would also familiarize the facility's policy in handling a similar situation. Why should I hire you? It may seem illogical for an interviewer to ask considering that they posted a job vacancy, but what he is actually trying to find out is how fitting you are with the work required. So make sure to sell yourself the right way. With my skills, knowledge and experience in phlebotomy, I can be an asset to your healthcare staff. Backed by years of working with a diverse population, I can help bring repeat patients who expect excellent customer service and quality health care. How would you describe yourself? I am really pleasant and outgoing, which is why I don't have any problem dealing with people with different personalities. This also makes it easy for me to properly handle young children. I am also reliable, dedicated and professional, so you can trust me to deliver an excellent job. Tell me about yourself. I studied and received a phlebotomy certificate from Boston Reed College in December 2005. 
Since June 2006, I have become a certified phlebotomy technician in California CPT-1. From October 2006, I have worked as a representative at a patient service center of Quest Diagnostics. So, I think with my experience and your training later, I can learn fast and become a good lab assistant in this hospital. Tell me what you did in Quest Diagnostics. Every day, after I receive patients or customers from a front desk, I access the tests that doctors order through a computer system. I work about five days or six per week, depending the tests the doctor order. I can do venipuncture steel stick finger stick for about 50 patients with all ages, such as newborn, children, adults, and wheelchair patients. Besides that, I can use centrifuge to spin tubes and transfer plasma or serum specimens to small tube. I also do freezing or refrigerating the samples and preparing required fur works and packaging the samples for courier pickup. Do you ever draw a blood culture for an adult? Tell me the steps of blood culture. Yes, I used to draw blood for a blood culture. I have to follow the steps. One. Disinfect culture bottles or isolator tubes with an alcohol pad prior to vena puncture tube. Remove 1.5 milliliters chloroprep one step prep applicator from container. Hold in a horizontal position and pinch handle the break ampule. Do not continue to squeeze handle point three. Place sponge on selected venipuncture site and depress once or twice to saturate sponge point four. Scrub vigorously for at least 30 seconds and allow site to dry before proceeding. Note, if at all possible, do not repalpate vein after disinfecting skin prior to inserting needle. If repalpation is necessary, apply iodine or alcohol to glove finger and allow it to dry before repalpating site. 5. Insert needle in the vein and secure it with tape or have a co-worker secure needle. 6. Place an adapter cap on blood culture bottle septum and press down to penetrate and obtain blood flow. Verify that blood flows into bottle. Hold adapter cap down on bottle during collection. Line demarcations on bottle label indicate sufficient blood volume from 8 milliliters to 10 milliliters for adult and 3 milliliters for children 7. After obtaining specified amount of blood, Move adapter cap to next bottle and continue the collection. Do not remove needle from patient's vein during this process. 8. After blood collection is complete, remove adapter cap from culture bottles and then remove needle from patient's vein. Point 9. Label each bottle and label must contain patient's name and identification number, collection date and time, collector's initials and source or site point one zero, bandage vena puncture site point one one, send blood cultures to microbiology laboratory as soon as possible while a phlebotomist have to follow the order of two when he draw blood for a patient phlebotomist should follow the order of draw to prevent the cross contamination of sample with additives from the other tubes therefore it will avoid the wrong results of the blood tests what is anticoagulant? Anticoagulant is a chemical that can prevent the blood from clotting. 
Some tubes contain any coagulum and additives. What is the order of tube you use to draw blood for a patient? First, I start with blood culture tubes. Sterile collection bottles require a sterile specimen, must be drawn first. Secondly, is blue stopper tube, contains sodium citrate, coagulation studies, PT, PTT. Next is red stopper tube, contains no addictive, and the blood will clot on centrifugation. Test performed, serum test, HIV, blood type, drug levels, type and screen. Red, gray, stopper tube, SSP or tiger tubes, contains glass particles or thick citropic gel. Test performed, serum test, lipids, PSA, thyroid and chemistry, gold or serum separator tube, SST, contains a gel which accelerates clotting also. Continue drawing the dark green tube that can also contain sodium heparin. Test perform chemistry studies electrolytes, BMP and CMP. Next, the green PST tube. Plasma separating tube with fibrinogen contains lithium heparin. Test performed chemistry studies like SST. Purple or lavender stopper tube contains EDTA. Test performed hematology studies, CBC. Complete blood cell count, ESR, HCT, RBC, WBC, HBG, pink top tubes or blood bank, contains EDTA gray stopper tube, contains sodium fluoride, anti-glycosidic. Test perform blood glucose levels. Yellow tube contains acid citrate dextrose. Test perform tissue typing, paternity testing, and DNA studies. Royal blue tube, pay attention. Test perform toxicology studies. Tell me more detail about the royal blue tubes. In the order of draw of the royal blue tube as there are three kinds of royal blue tubes. The first one there, royal blue tubes with a red label, contains no addictive. It will be filled it with the group of SST tube, including red stopper tubes, contains no addictive. Red, gray stopper tubes, gold tubes, the second one near royal blue tubes with a purple label contains EDTA. It will be filled with a group of EDTA tubes, such as purple or lavender stopper tube. The third one near royal blue tubes with the green label contains heparin's whole blood or plasma. It will be filled with a group of heparin tubes. Sale me the additive chemical that contain in every tube. Blue stopper tubes contain sodium citrate. Red stopper tubes contain no addictive gold or tiger tubes. Contain glass particles or thick citropic gal green PST tubes. Contain lithium heparin. Dark green tubes that contain sodium heparin royal blue tubes with a purple label contains a tapperable or lavender stopper tubes contain a tapping top tubes or blood bank tubes contain a tagray stopper tubes contain sodium fluoride yellow tubes contain acid citrate dextrose Royal blue tubes with the red label contain no addictive royal blue tubes with the green label contain heparin royal blue tubes with the purple label contains EDTA. Labeling tubes complete name of patients day and time specimen drawn patient ID number Mr. Number patient Dr. Bottomist initial. What is standard precautions? 
standard precautions of the basic level of infection control that should be used in the care of all patients all of the time. Use standard precautions in the care of all patients to reduce the risk of transmission of microorganisms from both recognized and non-recognized sources of infection applies to blood. All body fluids secretions and excretions except sweat whether or not they contain visible blood non-intact skin and mucous membranes what is personal protective equipment ppe for standard precautions hand hygiene always following any patient contact Wash hands for 20 seconds with soap and warm water, especially if visibly soiled. Clean hands with alcohol-based hand rub if not visibly soiled at gloves, gowns, masks, and respirators where eye protection, goggles and face shields for potential splash or spray of blood respiratory secretions, or other body fluids, what is an incubator? An incubator is a device used to grow and maintain microbiological cultures or cell cultures. The incubator maintains optimal temperature, humidity and other conditions, such as the carbon dioxide, CO2, and oxygen content of the atmosphere inside. Incubators are essential for a lot of experimental work in cell biology. Microbiology and molecular biology are used to culture both bacterial as well as eukaryotic cells, what is QA and QC in medicine, quality assurance. The maintenance of a quality management system is crucial to a laboratory for providing the correct test results every time. Quality assurance. Important elements of a quality management system include documentation standard operating procedures, SOPs, quality control samples, external quality assessment, and quality control. Our procedures used in each assay to assure a test run is valid and results are reliable. Kit controls quality control samples external quality assessment schemes EQAS aims to analyze the accuracy of the entire testing process from receipt of sample and testing of sample to reporting of results. What are your three biggest strong points? First, I am a hard-working person. For example, I can work with all my heart. I only rest when I complete my duty of the day. Second, I can learn from failure and mistakes. When I have a mistake, I always listen to my supervisor's criticism and others to correct my mistake and try to never do wrong again. Thirdly, I have a group work spirit. I am ready to help my co-worker when he or she cannot draw blood in a difficult case in a neonatal or an elderly person. I am a very good team player that motivates others in other to achieve the company's common goals. Why do you think you would do well at this job? I will do well in this job because I already have previous experience in the phlebotomy field. So, I will use my phlebotomy experience in this job and I am interested in learning new things and enhance my skills. I am also a person that learn quickly and perform better under pressure. I am a very good team player that motivates others in other to achieve the company's common goals. What motivates you to do your best on the job? I like to help others, especially the patients who have health conditions. 
So, as a phlebotomy technician, I can help customers or patients discover and treat their problems. This motivates me to try my best as I can to work harder to help the patients. Point four. How would you know you will be successful in this job? I am sure that I will be successful in the lab assistant because working in the medical field is my dream. While working in the medical field, I can help patients to collect the blood, stool, urine, sputum samples. So, I give my hands in the big team of the staffs in the hospital to discover the patient's problem and later the doctors can treat those problems. Point six. Why should we hire you for this job? I think you should hire me because you need a lab assistant who has a previous experience, an excellent skill, and a hard-working person. I can also work any shifts, even day or night time. One, explain what is the vacutainer blood collection system. The vacutainer system contains a double-pointed needle, a plastic holder, and a series of vacuum tubes with rubber stoppers of various colors. The color indicates the type of additives. It is the best way of collecting blood into the sample tube for analysis in the laboratory. It is easy and safe to use as the blood sample will directly go into the appropriate test tube rather than collecting blood first and transferring to the tube. Point two, how vacutainer needle is different. From normal syringe needle, vacutainer needle has a sharp point at both ends and usually covered by a rubber sheet with one end being shorter than the other point three. What are the different sizes of vacutainer tubes available? Different sizes of vacutainer tubes available are adults. Five, seven, ten, and fifteen milliliters pediatrics. Two, three, and four milliliter. Explain what is thrombin time. Thrombin time is a screening and coagulation time, where the time is noted to form fibrin from fibrinogen in plasma. Normal. Thrombin time is less than 20 seconds. Container is blue top. Sodium citrate. Two, six. Explain what is the basic technique to collect blood. To collect blood sample, the basic technique include tie up. Belt, tourniquet around the upper arm and about two to three inches above the venipuncture side. Make sure that your belt does not lose the grip from hand. It will exert pressure on the vein and your vein will emerge out clearly. Palpate the vein and locate the best site for blood collection. Always wear gloves while performing these activities. Apply disinfectant to sterile the site. Collection now insert syringe with the correct angle and draw the blood up and collect it in a sample tube. Once you collect the blood, never forget to loosen the belt from patient arm. Otherwise it will spill blood all over point seven. Give all information that should be mentioned on the label of the sample tube. Sample tube should have all the information like patient's information. First, middle and surname, patient's ID number. Note, the above given information must match the same on the requisition form on the label of each two gates. Time and initials of the phlebotomist must be mentioned on the tube. A. Explain what one should do in case of incomplete collection or no blood is obtained. If you fail to collect blood after puncturing, then in such situation, you have to do following things. Change the position of the needle and move it forward or move it backward. If it has penetrated too far, set the needle at correct angle. 
The metal may be against the vein wall loose in the belt. It may be suppressing the blood flow. Use another tube re-anchor the vein. Veins sometimes slip away from the point of the needle if then trying all this technique does not help then try another puncture at another site. Point 9. Explain how you collect blood sample in infant, usually to collect blood sample from infant. Blood should be collected from the foot, from the heel region. Pre-warm the infant's heel, not too much that it hurts the infant. 35 to 40 degrees Celsius for 3 to 5 minutes. It increases the blood flow and helps to detect blood capillaries. Easily puncture the site with a sterile lancet. Never use the central portion of the foot or too wide of the heel puncture across. The heel print lines with a clean and dry cotton piece wipe away the first drop of blood and collect the sample from the second drop of blood again. Apply some sterile solution to the puncture site to stop bleeding 10. Explain what is whole blood sample. A whole blood sample is referred to. A blood that is drawn and mixed immediately with an anticoagulant to maintain the characteristics of the blood cells and prevent clotting. Allowing whole blood analysis to be done. In short, the blood that is not allowed to clot after collecting from the patient is referred as whole blood sample point one one. What are different colored tubes used in phlebotomy and what does it indicates the sample? Tube or blood collection tube has different color top on it which indicates what tests need to be done on the red top. Immunology and serology testing golden top. Immunology and serology testing but use different chemicals to perform the test light green top for chemical testing red gray top for chemical testing but use different chemical then light green top purple top hematology testing light blue top coagulation tests dark green top for whole blood testing using heparin dark blue top for whole blood testing using EDTA light gray top, blood sugar testing yellow top, DNA testing, paternity testing in HLA tissue testing yellow black top, microbiological testing, aerobes, anaerobes and fungi black top. For testing like Westerbrand sedimentation red orange top. Stat serum chemistry's brown top serum lead determination 12. What tests what tests are commonly performed for checking kidney functions? For checking kidney functions, the tests perform your creatinine test. High level of creatinine in urine indicates kidney may not be working properly. Urea. High level of urea in urine indicates Kidney may not be working a GFR estimated glomerular filtration rate. Normal value of EGFR is 90 to 120 milliliters per minute. Anything below 90 milliliters per minute suggests there are some kidney problems dissolved salts. Sodium, potassium, chloride, and bicarbonate or electrolyte. Any alteration in the level of this electrolyte may be due to the kidney dysfunction 13. Explain what is HIV test window period. HIV test window period is the time interval between the original infection with HIV and the appearance of detectable antibodies to the virus. Window period is about 14 to 21 days, while in some case up to 12 weeks. In other words, a blood sample from
HIV patient will show no sign of HIV infection if he shoes in window period and his blood will show all HIV tests negative till it surpasses the window period. It's only after window period. You will able to detect virus in blood sample and see the infection in the blood sample of the HIV patient. Point one four. How soon you able to detect whether the patient is infected by HIV? If he is in the window period, if HIV patient is in window period, there are different level of tests. They are first generation tests. They can detect antibodies after 40 to 60 days of infection second generation test. They can detect antibodies after 21 to 24 days of infection third generation test. They can detect antibodies after 14 to 15 days of infection 15. Explain what are the possible risk that is associated with arterial sampling in neonatal collapse of veins if the tibial artery is damaged. While puncturing the medial aspect of the heel osteomyelitis of the heel bone possibilities of nerve damage if the fingers of neonates or infants are punctured hematoma scaring generalized or Localized necrosis routine being a puncture G U I D E L I N E S M A T E R I A L S 1. Safety needles 22 grams or less to butterfly needles 21 grams or less 3. Syringes 4. Blood collection tubes. The vacuum tubes are designed to draw a predetermined volume of blood. Tubes with different additives are used for collecting blood specimens for specific types of tests. The color of the rubber stopper is used to identify these additives. See selecting the appropriate collection tube and specimen container types 0.5. Tourniquets. Latex free tourniquets are available. 6. Antiseptic. Individually packaged 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes. 7. 2 by 2 gauze or cotton balls. 8. Sharps disposal container. Inosha acceptable puncture proof container marked biohazardous. 9. Bandages or tape S A F E T Y 1. Observe the universal standard safety precautions. Observe all applicable isolation procedures. Point 2. PPEs will be worn at all time. Point 3. Wash hands in warm. Running water with the chlorhexidine gluconate hand washing product approved by the Infection Control Committee. Or if not visibly contaminated with a commercial foaming hand wash product before and after each patient collection. Point four, gloves are to be worn during all phlebotomies and changed between patient collections. Palpation of phlebotomy site may be performed without gloves, providing the skin is not broken. Point five. A lab coat or gown must be worn during blood collection procedures. Point six. Needles and hubs are single use and are disposed of in an appropriate sharps containers. One unit. Needles are never recapped. Remove broken or bent after phlebotomy procedure. Point seven. Gloves are to be discarded in the appropriate container immediately after the phlebotomy procedure. All other items used for the procedure must be disposed of according to proper biohazardous waste disposal policy. Point eight. Contaminated surfaces must be cleaned with freshly prepared 10% bleach solution. 
All surfaces are cleaned daily with bleach point nine. In the case of an accidental needle stick, immediately wash the area with an antibacterial soap, express blood from the wound, and contact your supervisor. How to identify the patient. Outpatients are called into the phlebotomy area and asked their name and date of birth. This information must match the requisition. Inpatients are identified by their R band if it has been removed. A nurse must install a new one before the patient can be drawn. How many times can you draw blood for a patient? Do not attempt to be in a puncture more than twice. Notify your supervisor or patient's physician if unsuccessful with the appropriate vein for being a puncture. E large or median cubital basilican cephalic veins are most frequently used but other may be necessary and will become more prominent if the patient closes his fist tightly. At no time may phlebotomists perform venipuncture on an artery. At no time will blood be drawn from the feet unless there is a specific order from doctor. What factors to consider to choose the veins? Asterisk extensive scarring or hand burn areas should be avoided. Asterisk specimens should not be obtained from the arm on the same side as a mastectomy. Asterisk avoid areas of hematoma. Asterisk if an IV is in place, samples may be obtained below but never above the IV site. Asterisk do not obtain specimens from an arm having a cannula, fistula, or vascular graft. Asterisk allow 10 to 15 minutes after a transfusion is completed before obtaining a blood sample. How to use the tourniquet properly? Apply the tourniquet 3 to 4 inches above the collection site. Never leave the tourniquet on for over 1 minute. If a tourniquet is used for preliminary vein selection, release it and reapply after 2 minutes. How to clean the puncture site. Clean the puncture site by making a smooth circular pass over the site with a 70% alcohol pad moving in an outward spiral from the zone of penetration. Allow the skin to dry before proceeding. Do not touch the puncture site after cleaning. How to perform the vena puncture? Attach the appropriate needle to the hub by removing the plastic cap over the small end of the needle and inserting into the hub. Twisting it tight, remove plastic cap over needle and hold bevel up. Hold the skin tight with your thumb or index finger just below the puncture site. Holding the needle in line with the vein. Use a quick, small thrust to penetrate the skin and enter the vein in one smooth motion. Insert the first vacutainer tube, follow the order of draw. Blood should flow into the evacuated tube. Inverted light blue top four times. Red and gold tops should be inverted five times. All other tubes containing the additive should be gently inverted 8 to 10 times. Do not shake your arm mix vigorously. Place a dust pad over the puncture site. Ask the patient to apply pressure for at least 2 minutes. Apply a fresh bandage causer tape. Dispose of hub with needle attached into a sharp container. Label all tubes with patient labels, initials, date, and time.